Hello, Sidekick subscribers and viewers out there today. This is episode, well, countdown, day 64 until Shadow of War released on October 10th. Awesome things planned for today. We're going to develop the story some more, but before that, we're going to ask the question, who is the Berserker? We've been going along this theme of different uh, orc ranks and what they are, and today we're going to review the Berserker. And so there's so many new types we've reviewed already, not just four like we saw in Shadow of Mordor, but we have Destroyer, Commander, Assassin, Beastmaster, Marksman, Tracker, and today the Berserker. So who is he? What is it all about? What is this rank? It's a chaotic warrior who becomes enraged in battle, thrives on when he damages others. So in this, he also has a few attributes given to him, such as... Furious Charge, Rabid, like a rabid rabbit, you know, like rabies, Rabid, and Rampage. So you talk about some seriously awesome abilities. This guy seems like one tough cookie to beat. And I had to have to ask the question, what do you think Furious Charge can mean? You think it's unblockable? Rabid, what does it mean to be rabid? Is he foaming at the mouth? Is he poisonous? And Rampage is he just unstoppable at that point? Curious as to what you think those could be? Leave a comment below at your speculations of this chaotic warrior who becomes enraged in battle. Now, that's what we do in every episode, taking a little glimpse of what would be expected to have in Shadow of War. And now transitioning to some gameplay. And one awesome thing is the Nemesis Forge, which is something that transitions over to Shadow of War. I've mentioned it once before, but this is something that is developed throughout the storyline in which we are playing today. And today we're changing the skin from Captain of Watch to Dark Ranger, which I have a feeling you guys are going to like the most, but could be mistaken. Leave a comment below which you think I should play as, and I will take those in consideration in episode, or I should say countdown day tomorrow, 63. Or is it 64? I'm really losing track. My apologies. It is in the description. It is in the title. You know what it is. All right, so we're going to continue the story mode. Here we go. In which I have to mention, I do have to apologize from the previous episode. I ended it uh, yesterday. I was saying it was day the wrong day or something. So my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. We've done so far um, from 70 to 69 to 68 to 67 to 66 to 65 to 64. 64 is the day. 64 days until Shadow of War. Just making sure I get that straight. 64, 64, 64. Okay. All right. So we are back here now, and we're going to go find Butterfly the Shieldmaster and get 70 power points. That's going to be great. It's going to be over 9,000 in power. So excited for Shadow of War. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait for it. But we're going to have to. And in the meantime, we're going to be playing some epic Shadow of Mordor gameplay. So don't be hating, just be liking. And if you haven't liked, go ahead and leave a comment below and check out the playlist. If you haven't seen the other episodes and if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. And take a look here at what we have to unlock. So in the previous episode, we were doing some kills. We got to get 244 power points for the next tier, which, by the way, is where it starts to get really awesome such as a swift finisher which I don't know if I'll do that because I probably go for the vaulting stun much a little bit more powerful I think but either way we can't unlock any of those at this time however we do want to anticipate certain um, nice things to do so this one is unlocked by playing main missions we'll get to that I am sure what we're gonna go ahead and do is that's going to come in handy, so let's go ahead and, and grab that. Because that's going to be good for the massive um, killing of, of dudes. And we're going to save the other ones for something a little more powerful. Oh, there is some intel. We're passed on for today. And just move on with the storyline. As uh, each episode is really focusing on the storyline progression, we're going to try to keep it that way. And if time allows, we're going to go into some of the DLC content. I know some of you have been anxious to hear about that. And I will uh, explore some of that, especially if we have time. In the countdown, 64 days from now, hopefully we will definitely have some time. I'm thinking so, anyways. If not, I'd be pretty surprised. Alright, so kill five supporters with bow attacks. 
this is gonna be pretty awesome. There's one. <laughs> Too easy. All right, so that was one supporter, and there are many more. Hey, look who it is. Blog. Blog the chunky. <laughs> I just think that's a great name. Um, not really. What else can we find? There's a dude, and he's just chilling. Now he's chilling for eternity as dead man. Okay, so Karagor Intel dude. Let's uh, see if we can't grab him and get some intel. Alright, this will be nice. Maybe get some Blorg intel. Is this Blorg? There he is, Blorg the Chunky. Let's find out a little bit more about you, pretty boy. <laughs> Vulnerable uh, to mounted beast. He's clumsy. That's nice. He can be grabbed without even low health. Not bad. And down you go! And off I go to find some more supporters. Thank you very much. Your head's been chopped. Stealth kill you! And that guy's behind a box, so can't do anything about that. But I can release that Karagor. That would be fun. There we go. Oh, there's a little dude sneaking around up here. Don't want him raising any alarms. And there's another War Captain Chief dude over there. Who's this? Kugaluga. Kugaluga! Yeah, good for you. There's a lot of baddies around here, that's for sure. That guy's behind the wall. And there's a shield defender. And a spear guy. Can I go up higher? Looks like I can. Maybe even go around. I just don't want to be spotted, really. This is a little bit tougher. But I'm up for a challenge. And it's too far down. Uh oh. Mr. Intel has seen too much. Wait. Did he move? He moved. Okay. And they're going to get a little. Oh boy. They got to see me that time. I was going to say, if they didn't see me, that would be kind of. What? That's pretty sweet skin, by the way, I must say. Can we, uh... Oh, what happened? There we go. So, now just one more and we're done. Alright, he's arrived. And he's over by the other captains, of course. Yep, he's got he's got back up too. And he's a spear, dude. This is gonna be it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough right now, I can tell you guys. Um, so I'm thinking we need to try to upgrade some stuff. And I wish I knew how to activate my um awesomeness with the rune. I'm gonna see if I can find out where that is double charge quick draw wraith burn dispatch no it's not it I feel like uh, it's not the fire arrow you know I really am not sure but what can we use for this one I think we're gonna we might want the last chance I'll save it in the attempt in the event that we need it but we're going to go ahead and unlock this to upgrade the um, possibility of critical strikes. Alright, so we've got him kind of separating from the pack a little bit. Don't worry any of them. You get away at their own. 
Okay, he's really starting to separate from the pack, it looks like. I'm just gonna drop. Hey there! Should have got him for some intel, but. Oh well! You didn't see nothing. I thought I heard something. Tell me, Barfa. What are you weak against? Fire and mounted beasts? This could be good. Hey, damn! You murdered! Yeah, there's some fire over there too. Be handy with a bow. But do you dare face my lads with steel in your hand? That's right. That's right, son. Come on over here. We'll uh we'll talk. Barfa. Barfa. Oh, Barfa. You you put out the fire. How clever of you. Oh, but he's got a fear of burning. He's got a fear of burning. And that means he's going to run away. So what I've got to do is... Oh, that tricky bugger. Yes, we're going to have to shoot his foot. So he doesn't go running off far. Oh, come on, come on. Where are you at, Barfa? No! No! Sauron Barabug, the pit fighter. Kill. Ah. Let's grab some of this. Barfa, Barfa, come back. Barfa! Barfa! Barfa, where are you? Oh my goodness, he is booking it. Hey, there he is. Okay. Ow! You little booger! I'm gonna shoot your foot. There we go. Of course, he's all by his buddies there. Come on! Fight me, Barfa! This isn't good, dudes. Oh, he's got all of his backup. Blog the chunkies here. I want to work up an appetite. <laughs> oh man! If he, he's still afraid, so he's still gonna run, which is is okay, because I want him to run. I want him to run far away from these pansies that have been. Yes, come on. He's still running, which is good. It's working for my advantage. Oh, hey, throwing spears at me. This is such a handy tool, the, the way to pin them down. Okay, there we go, guys. Go after the team leader. Okay. Why? Through the sword? I mean, the shield? Ooh, get some! <laughs> Look at the blood just flying out like his facial expression. Whoa! Hey, Blork! Come back here, Blork! I got a bone to pick with you! Okay, there we go. He's been in place! Oh, he can he can do that. Borg, you are you are uh, one tough one tough cookie. But with the combination of the wraith thing, oh, vulnerable to combat finishers. No kidding. Talk about simplistic. Borg is down. Uh, that was that was nice and easy for me gained a couple of uh, lame runes, but runes nonetheless. So that was pretty epic, guys. I mean, do I get some kudos? Do I get some kudos? Come on, leave some comment kudos, will ya? Yeah. What really saved it was the pin in place. Just gonna recommend that. If you guys haven't played this game, that is a recommendation for you all. Alright, so moving on. Moving on. Whilst we are here, huh? We could try to grab some of this uh, stuff, perhaps, some artifactual things. 
Okay, shall we? Looks like it's up there. I'd say it's worth grabbing it while we're here. Power increased by nine for killing Blorg. It's very nice. Thank you, Blorg. Thank you kindly, sir. Can't be climbing that, though. I can perhaps climb here, though. Up I go. And this is down. These things are always so difficult. Oh! These things. Forgot about these, so these are cool. Oops, sorry, microphone hit that. Um, You can pan and zoom. It's going to make a little awesome mural or something. Ithlindim. Ithildim. Ithildim. Okay. Forged of Mithril. They hold memories of the ancient past. The knowledge within may be fair or ill. Hopefully it's fair. Hey, that was close. This this thing is just right next to it. Very nice, easy to pick up. Easy rewards. Musty tome with a dog little tree on it. Nice. Take a look at that later. I'm just skipping these, but if you wanted to really find out about them, do let me know in the comments below. Perhaps we can have um, you know, if we have time in it. Go together. Then we will be sorry. The pillars of the kings. I hope that Hirgon's people can escape. I do not. So, anyways, like I was saying, if you guys want to see more of the lore, more of the lore, just let me know. Know where you shall see your family again. The doom of man is beyond the vision of the elves. Uh, we might dedicate an episode to the lore um, that we find, you know? But for now, I'm just going to kind of skip it all for the sake of um, story mode and progression. Kind of get into the main things, you know? Here's one more, and we'll grab that and we'll get out of here. Maybe some intel on the way as well. So, I do know the captain's over there. Actually, he's just chilling right up there. Hopefully, he won't notice my presence. But if he does, I'll take the fight to him. But I'm going to try to avoid him. Hey, don't you be hurting a slave! Or the brick or the wall, whatever you were doing. Oh, someone noticed me. Not a problem though, because we just got the last little tidbit. The horned helmet. That's cool looking. Something like Ro uh, Rohan might have um, had. Okay. So there's some intel, and then there's broken shield. But at this point, I'm going to move on. And to move on, I'm um, curious, see here, which are the missions? The One Truth, Golem is hungry to lead the Bright Master. We could do a little lore progression, or we could do some more battle with the Squealer. Um, there is a little tower over here in which we could um, liberate, unlock. But this is in a stronghold. So I'm going to opt. This is a stronghold too, but I'm going to opt to go here. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and do so. So this episode is going to be ended up here. So again, uh, we, we started this episode with... Maybe Hirgon would not have needed to desert us. Oh, Hirgon. Maybe together we would have been ready when Sauron returned. Even without the fell influence of the Dark Lord, mankind shall never know the end of war. So I knew there's a little bit of backstory with Hirgon probably, but uh, we're going to go ahead and disregard that for now. I just wanted you guys to hear those comments as it is... I think important. I think you enjoy it. If you do, let me know. If you've enjoyed this series, do leave a like, excuse me, and share. But don't forget to subscribe. If you see it on the right hand part of the screen, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If it's not there, go ahead and check the description below to subscribe and add the playlist to your watch list. Again, I'm bringing you daily content as a countdown of number of days until the release of Shadow of War. And again, don't forget to comment about the Berserker. What is this furious charge? What is this rabid ability and rampage? Leave a comment below. Love to discuss it with you. Until next time, tomorrow that is, we'll see you later. This is Hero87, your host, signing off. 
Up, up, and away. Later, sidekicks.